Mademoiselle, that shouldn't be allowed. Welcome back to the Royal Review. And if that didn't give it away, we're doing Coco Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. Of course, I have an older style bottle of Coco Mademoiselle, but it's Coco Mademoiselle nonetheless by Chanel. So I'm going to try to give you a somewhat view of the bottle. So it's pretty much a clear bottle, gold band, white top. Here, what you probably can't see right there is where it actually says Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Oh, you can sort of see with the glare. Sorry about the blindingness. That's what it looks like without the lid. Very simple bottle. I can smell it already because I'm in love. Okay, so I'm going to skip all the hoopla and go straight to reviewing Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. By the way, this is the Eau de Parfum. Not the Eau de Toilette. Because the Eau de Toilette, some of the Eau de Toilette bottles look exactly like this, but the Eau de Parfum always has the gold band. Okay, so Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Mm. You might want to give me a moment. Mm. Okay. Stop getting distracted. It's citrusy, so mine. I like things with citrus. So it's so the top notes are orange, mandarin orange, orange blossom, and bergamot. Like I said, it's citrusy. That eventually quickly dries down. That eventually quickly dries down. Then you have mimos, jasmine, Turkish rose, and liang liang. And finally, the base notes of Coco Chanel, Coco, no correction, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, is tonka bean, patchouli, vanilla, um, right, white musk, uh, vetiver, and something I probably can't pronounce, it's one of the O. Um, I'm gonna try it, but I'm probably gonna butcher it, so it's spare me. I think it's opoponics, I think, I could be completely wrong. O-P-O-P-O-N-A-X. However the hell you pronounce that, that's what that is. I have no idea what that is, but it's probably in here and I'm probably smelling and I don't even realize it. Mm. Anyways, I have to go out of tea with the mademoiselle over there. Coco mademoiselle.